This is the counter shaft. I'm gonna knock that clip out of there. And someone already removed the snap ring on this side. And then we're gonna press that bearing off of there somehow. That's first gear. And the difference between the gears, according to my book over here, first gear on 87. 1.419 diameter and on 83 1.36 I'm going to use this technique to knock this off and put two screwdrivers I'm going to wrap around the back side of that with some tissue paper to catch that thing when it flies off but I'm just going to pound on both screwdrivers and knock that C-clip off you can see I've got that tissue wrapped around there to try to catch this thing a screwdriver on each end of that about halfway off there thickness on this one is 0.118 okay I put a bearing separator on here so the flat side is up and uh, Put some all thread on it so that I can match the length. And I'm gonna pull that <coughs> working that bearing off. When pressing this bearing off, like I was just trying to do, you have to make sure that you don't put this on too tight. In order to clear, in order to clear this right here, you're gonna make sure that your bearing separator is open further in that distance. Otherwise, it'll hang up right in here, getting it off, which isn't much. That's enough. So don't put it on super tight, loose, so that it clears this diameter right here, which is 1.26. And another way of doing it, of course, is to use a hydraulic press. You know, or you stick it in here, wedge it in with the, push this, pump it down. And this is the bearing that's going to go on the end of the counter shaft. I can, when you wiggle it, this is a brand new bearing. When you, you can feel it move a little bit, not much. And when you turn it. Makes a little bit of noise. It's kind of tight. Anyway, maybe you can hear it. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna warm this one up, keep it in my pants pocket for a couple of hours, and then freeze the uh, counter shaft before I try to put it on. I just pulled this out of the freezer and I popped that clip on there. I just tapped it on with a hammer. The bearing I had in my pocket for about half an hour warming up and then I stuck it from this lamp for a little bit. Getting it ready, warming it up a little bit. I used the sleeve and tapped it down by tapping all the way around the sleeve evenly until it bottomed out. You can kind of tell by the tone of it. This is a style of C-clip that goes on there. This one is 0 .08, 0 0.02 approximately thick. The diameter of the shaft at that point for the bearing is uh, one point 179. So this is what happens when you try to take the oil pump off and don't know it's a reverse thread. So you try to loosen it and when you're loosening it you're actually tightening it and it breaks off. I didn't know this. Just noticed it after I put the bearing on. So I center punched the middle of it and I drilled a 
five thirty seconds hole. Then I hammered the screwdriver into it and turn it clockwise like I'm tightening, but I'm not because it's a reverse thread. And luckily I was able to get it out of there. This is a counter shaft. Something to keep in mind is between the years, the counter shafts aren't interchangeable. The uh, fourth gear and the number of teeth is the same. Third gear, diameter and number of teeth are the same. Second gear, diameter and number of teeth are the same. But first gear, there's a difference in the diameter and on the granny gear, there's a difference in the diameter. So I didn't have this up high enough. This is the uh, first gear. It's 12 teeth. On the 87 to 88, the, the diameter of the teeth is 1.418. On the 83s to 86, it's 1.38. And on the granny gear, it has 8 teeth on all years, but the diameter on the 80. 788 is 1.55 and on the 83 to 86 is 1.235 and I you know I say 83 to 86 but I, I don't know exactly when the the year change is it could be 85 on some <clears throat> and then the difference between the uh, this is the slider that controls third and fourth gear and this gear is cut on it for reverse. The main difference between the years is this protrusion. They're exactly the same. They have the same amount of teeth, the same width. Going this way. And the teeth are all okay. Everything's the same from here over. Uh, this edge of the teeth over. But this protrusion is a different thickness between the ears. The uh, 8788 thickness of this protrusion is about 0.198 and on these the 83 to 86 is about 0.2 Two five in the ballpark there, two four eight point two four eight. That's the big difference. So if you ever get the parts mixed up, you want to keep an eye out on that. The overall diameter I've measured of the gears varies slightly, but over, but they're the same. Um, even between the the years, they they vary slightly. It's a very small amount. So I just operate on the fact that they're the same. So really, you just want to look at this, these protrusions, and make sure that you have the right one. In general, the narrow one is for the aluminum shift forks, and the wide one is for the steel shift forks.